interested in getting tickets to a concert or sporting event, use SeatGeek and get $20 off on your next purchase with promo code OVERSPORTS. That's O-B-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S, OVERSPORTS. What's going on, guys? Jacob Ober here. So, um, some big news today for the Green Bay Packers a couple hours ago. Uh, Packers ESPN writer Rob Domvoski confirmed that uh, Mike Patton will be staying on for the Green Bay Packers as defensive coordinator for at least next year. Um, this comes just one day after I made that video talking about whether or not the Packers should fire Patton or not. It was a really, really big decision, and I'm pretty surprised that they made it this early into the offseason. Of course, you do see a lot of coaching changes right and right after you know a season ends, um, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like the Packers might have sh or should have devoted a little bit more time to deciding this. I mean, we're only, what, two days removed, two, day two three days removed from that NFC Championship. Uh, so I feel like a little more evaluation time might have been in order. But uh, overall, you know, the decision, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm. You guys saw my video from last night talking about it. I was pretty mixed on what the Packers should do because on the one hand, I understand you want to keep... Uh, you want to keep the continuity and carry it over to another year and give him some more chances with these younger guys. And you also look at the fact that Mike Patton has been a very, very successful defensive coordinator in the past. Extremely successful, in fact. I mean, he was excellent with Buffalo, with New York, even with the Cleveland, and that's really hard to do. So, um, I mean, it, it makes sense, you know. I mean, he's not a guy who's consistently been a failure in his career, but at the same time, it's like... I mean, his defense gave up 285 yards on the ground. Is that more player effort, or is that more uh, his own scheme that's failing the Packers? Uh, Matt LaFleur today in the press conference seemed to hint a little bit at that being more of the players' uh, the players' fault than Petten's fault because he was talking a lot about how the Packers just were not prepared. They did not have the energy or the effort to win that game, and um, that, that's a little bit concerning to me because we were one game away from the Super Bowl, I'm really not sure how you don't get up for a game like that. Um, the Packers, I mean, it, it, I felt when I was watching the game, you know, that the Packers, they, they, they looked like they ha they found that urgency in the second half, but it was too it was too late by then. It's like if this team would have just came out and played like they did when they came out and played the second half, they would have had a much better chance at winning that game, especially the defense, you know. And I mean, they certainly weren't perfect in the second half either, but they were. They were a lot better than in the first half, I'll tell you that, giving up 27 points. Um, but, I mean, overall, you know, it, it would have been, I think it would have been a bit a bit of a difficult thing to bring an entirely new defensive coordinator when you've got Aaron Rodgers here sitting at 36, soon to turn 37 next year. Um, and, you know, like I said last video, Rodgers isn't getting any younger, you know. This was the guy that we brought in when we kind of cleaned house a little bit a couple of years ago. This is the guy that we thought was the person to bring this Packers defense back, and he has at the very least made them look, you know, according to, you know, league rankings and stuff, at least average and to above average, you know. They haven't been horrible defensively, and they've got a lot of young pieces that have been carrying over through the last couple of years who might just be hitting their stride next year. So um, I think it is fair to give him another year, um, and it's also a little bit difficult to, you know, bring in an entirely new coach with different defensive concepts that you have to relearn over in the offseason and everything. It's like, do we really have more time for this, you know? Do we really have more time to get our guys into, you know, into another uh, defensive coordinator in their scheme with with how old Aaron Rodgers is? I mean, Aaron Rodgers, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it, it is you know, his time done or the Packers better served moving on. Aaron Rodgers is still Aaron Rodgers, guys. Maybe not the Aaron Rodgers from 2011 or 2014, but he's still Aaron Rodgers, and you can still win football games with him. So in my opinion, you know, it, it, it makes sense to keep him on at this point in, in the timeline, you know. So um, overall, though, I mean, if it doesn't improve next year, though, if he, if he doesn't show significant improvement next year, the defense especially – then I might be inclined to let him go after that year. But um, for right now, I think it's all right to keep Patton. It's a safe move, I think. Um, and I know a lot of people might not like the safe move, but at the same time, you know, you have to understand where this team is and where, uh, you know, the their trajectory is going. And it's it's going up right now, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be going up 
if we keep Mike Patton and you keep that continuity and you take it over another year, then, I mean, it, it could serve a lot of people well in the organization, including the players and the defense. So, um, overall, you know, uh, I, I'm okay with it, you know, and I would have probably been okay if they had fired him uh, too, you know, I, I can understand the reasoning for both, but ultimately the Packers decided that this was the best decision for the organization going forward, and that's all right with me. So um, until next time, guys, though, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your comments on this in the comment section below. Do you think Mike Patton should have been fired or not? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Sports 41512 and on Instagram, username Jacob underscore Ober, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Pack Go!